Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you or giving you options on what paper you could use for your chip bags. Um, also, I'm going to give you examples of the ones that I've used for each paper. I'm going to be telling you where you can purchase the paper from. Um, also, this is just going to be for inkjet printers because that's all I have is an inkjet printer. I don't have a laser one, um, but I know there's like one or two of these papers that you can use for a laser. And I'll let you know in a minute which ones you can. Okay, so the first one I'm going to start with is this Jot paper. That's the brand. It is premium photo paper and it comes with eight sheets. Um, this one you can find at Dollar Tree for only a dollar. So if you only need a few chip bags, I recommend this one. Um, and again, it is suitable for inkjet printers. It may or may not work for uh, laser printers. I don't know. I haven't tried it because I don't have a print. I don't have one of those printers. Um, also, it is 48 pounds. Um, when you're doing your chip bags, you want to make sure that you're using photo paper or brochure flyer paper because the quality is a lot better than using uh, regular paper. Also, oh, and it is glossy. This one is glossy. It's one-sided glossy paper. And I didn't have, I didn't print any chip bags with this one, but I did uh, print some uh, Gatorade labels with it. And as you can see, the quality is good. So if you're looking for a, a much cheaper option, I'd go with this. Again, it's only eight sheets, but you get it for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So if you only need a few chip bags, go ahead and buy that. It's a cheap option. So the next one I recommend is this Canon photo paper, and this is going to be for a matte option. Um, it is 50 sheets and you can find it on Amazon for only $4.99, which is a really good deal. Um, it is 45 pound paper. And when I tell you this paper is so freaking good, it's probably one of my favorites. I've actually never even tried another matte paper before and I don't plan on trying another one uh, because this one is a really good, it's really good quality. So yeah, and it's only $4.99. I mean, you can't even beat that. The chip bags I've done on this are this Jordan and the, this leopard print one. So when you're making chip bags that have like the main color is like a dark color such as red, black, or gray, um, I recommend using matte photo paper because the matte option, it looks, the quality looks a lot better. Not saying that it doesn't look good on glossy paper. Um, in my opinion, uh, dark colors just look better on matte paper. Okay, and my third option is this Office Depot uh, premium brochure flyer paper. And it is 50 pounds and you get 100 sheets. And honestly, the prices vary so much. Like when I first started purchasing purchasing this paper last year, like around uh, March, it was priced at sixteen ninety nine. And then from then on to now, it's been like it ranges from sixteen ninety nine up until twenty nine ninety nine. So honestly, it really depends. And again, you do get it at Office Depot. Um, the good thing about Office Depot though is that they always have coupons. They always have a 20% off uh, coupon, so you can always get it a little bit cheaper. Um, yeah, but again, the, the prices vary on this one, which is why I've tried other options. Don't get me wrong, this paper is really good. This is um, my first favorite, and then I think the matte will be my second. But the thing is, like, the it's getting so expensive that I honestly don't like buying it anymore. Even though, you know, I can't get a coupon every now and then, but still, you know, at first I was getting it for $16.99 and then now it's like $30. So, yeah. Um, but it is good quality paper. Um, the chip bag that I've done so far, most of my chip bags I actually do on this paper. So, these two <clears throat> were done on this paper. And again, the quality is really good. It's just the pricing with it. Like, sometimes you can find a, uh, find a good deal on it and sometimes you can't. So... It all depends. Also, this paper can be used for inkjet or laser printers. Glossy, um, it is actually glossy on both sides. Um, again, this is a really good quality paper, just expensive. My last option is gonna be this Koala brand paper. It is double-sided glossy. It's 42 pounds and it comes with 100 sheets. Um, I believe it is priced at 16, I wanna say 16.99 on Amazon. Um, this is really good paper. I really like it. This one is actually my go-to paper after the Office Depot glossy paper. Um, again, if I can't find that one for the price that I want, I will get this one instead. Um, it's really good quality. And the chip bag I've made with this paper is this Dragon Ball Z one. The thing about this paper though is it is that it's a lot thinner compared to the one that I get from Office Depot, the glossy version of Office Depot's. Um, but again, the quality is still great. So it's, I mean, it's really up to you. If you want to go with the cheaper option, I'd say go with uh, the $16.99. But if you do, 
want um, thicker quality paper, then I say go with the premium brochure and flyer paper. And again, this one can range from $16.99 up until $29.99. And that completes this video. If you do have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Um, also, I am an Etsy seller, so if you'd like to check out my shop, I'll go ahead and leave it in the description box below. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.